Hello, and thank you for tuning in um, to my smartphone branding tutorial. And what I'm going to be talking about today is updating your social media template, which is basically a blank canvas for you to put your quotes, prices, um, any communication to your clients, potential clients, um, whatever your audience is. Um, your social media templates are in place for you to kind of stick to your brand um, and how it looks. Okay, so let's get started. What I'm going to be going over today are two apps, very briefly, PhotoGrid and uh, WorkSwag. These are my favorite apps to use. There are plenty of others out there, um, but that's what I'm going to be using today. So let's get started. So PhotoGrid is the first one I'm going to do. It is a free app. I'm pretty sure it's available across the board. Um, as far as systems, I think it's available on Apple and Android. I use Android, so I'm not sure about Apple, um, but it is free and it's super easy. So let's start with that one. Okay, so once you, you get into PhotoGrid, um, what we're going to do is save our social media template. Um, save it to your phone. And when I say save it to your phone, um, don't go to your email where you're getting your social media template from and screenshot it. Don't do that. You don't want what's displayed on this screen, like your battery and all of that on your social media template. Um, and then it, the quality goes down um, significantly, like when you start doing that. So make sure you um, do whatever your phone calls for to download it. So once you get your social media downloaded to your phone, you're going to go, you can just go to photo edit, but I do grid automatically. So, and excuse my pictures, this is my personal phone. So, this is your social media template. When you download your social media template, it automatically is a picture. So, you can use any kind of editing app to update your picture, okay? Um, PhotoGrid just seems to be super easy to me, and I'm going to show you some other things on why I like it. Okay, so we have our graphic here. This is my logo, just a quick template I made for this tutorial. Um, so now how do we put wording on it? Very simple. Go to text, um, whatever your message is. So I'm going to, we're going to say make your, uh oh, I'm using my stylus, brand visually attractive. Let's center it um, and be very careful about your font. Okay, so we, now we know how to get the wording on here. Now we need to, to realize that we, we have to stay consistent with our brand. Otherwise, it's going to look crazy and it's going to be pointless. So, for example, my logo, when you look at it, um, I have script up here at the top um, and then a regular serif font here, but you don't want to use another script font um, because they start fighting each other. And then you want to kind of stay as close as your font as you can. You're very limited on these apps, but I'd rather you stay close to it than to go completely off the mark. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So, and some of these kind of look like my font, but I don't ever use them. Like this. Don't do this. First of all, that's not even legible. Um, and then you have too many script fonts on here. These are, they're fighting. Um, the wording is, is completely fighting your logo and your brand elements. So don't do that. So try to stick to um, the more simpler fonts when you do this. Um, plus people can, can read it better. So let's go and edit the font. Um, this is one they just put on there. I like it. Um, it kind of flows with a lot of the brands. Um, and the font that kind of flows pretty good with it. So I do like using this one. Um, but that's pretty much how you get your wording onto your um, template. It's that simple. Now, say you wanted to do a different layout, um, because I'm pretty sure if you've been on social media, you see uh, people styling their brand and the layouts of their wording is, you know, a lot different. What you can do, of course, you can make this all caps and, and kind of play with that. But um, you can layer this. So let's go. Our first layer, we're going to put make your. And then we're going to create another layer because you can do that. 
make it all caps. Make your brand. Not only that, you can change the color. So say I want to make this pink that goes kind of with my brand, brand's color. There you go. Now let's add another one. The end of our message. And I probably wouldn't put all these colors on here, but we're going to play with it today. And that's it. That's one layout that you could do. And then, you know, it has shapes and things like that, but I would stay away from that until you figure out how to make it, you know, the basic things at least visually attractive. Um, trying to center this, it kind of looks different on the screen. Um, so that's really it for that. And then you just go and save it. That's it. I want to show you one more thing on, on Photo Grid. Um, Say you want to um, add your logo to something. Um, it's a, this is a quick way to do it. Or um, you want to have a blank canvas. First of all, um, PhotoGrid doesn't upload just like a blank canvas, but you have the option of, you know, you can choose any picture and just move that out of the way. And then once you do that, you can change this background to whatever you want whatever you want, whatever texture you want. But in doing that, make sure you're um, sticking to your brand. You also have the option of saving something with a transparent background, but don't mess with that until you know what you're doing. But um, say you want to put a message and then just put your logo to the side. Well, move the image out of the way. Background, let's change it to white. What you need to do is create a sticker. I've already created some some of them on my clients, but um, free crop is what you would do. And whatever file you have, um, you would download it to your phone. So say you have your, your file of your logo with a transparent background. You would save it to your phone just like any other file. Then you would hit free crop, and it will um, come to this here. So this is mine that I've already loaded, and there it is. And uh, oh, and why I do it as a sticker is because it helps it saves that transparent background. So say my background was, you know, whatever. This you see, there's no white background because um, it saved it as it's supposed to be saved as a PNG file with the transparent background. And I hope that uh, makes sense to you. So you're able to add your logo to things if you want it to and just save. So that's Photo Grid. Now let's go to Word Swag. Word Swag is not free. Um, it has, I want to say, a $3 investment, but it's well worth it. It gives you the layout so you don't have to do the extra layers like I was doing on Photo Grid. Um, the only difference is uh, you have to keep going back to save to get the different colors um, in the different lines. But um, it does give you the different layouts automatically. So with WordSwag, you have the option to go to the camera here and um, take a new photo. But to get your template, you're going to have to go to the gallery. Um, and then it gives you these images here. And you can search Pixabay, which has some pretty cute stock photos if you want to do some quotes um, and things like that, which I'll do on another tutorial. But what you want to do is go to your camera roll and get get your social media template. Y'all don't look at my pictures. So let's go here. Now we're going to do square crop, um, which your social media template, if you got it from me, it's going to be square anyway because um, I want to make sure that you can post it on Facebook and also Instagram. Um, you want your, whatever you're going to be posting to Instagram to be square. Um, they do allow you to do different dimensions now, but it doesn't look right, so make sure you do square. So now we have our picture on here. Um, it says double tap me to change, and that's exactly what you do. Um, let's put our message in here. Do 
visually attractive. And it also has some pre-made quotes here that you could do. So that's it for that. This has a white background. Of course, I don't want that because I want it bigger. Um, and you see it's kind of overlapping into my template. So that's not what I want to do. So you can kind of go through here and figure out what font works the best with yours. I always go to the simple simple line fonts in here. I don't, unless I'm doing um, a overlay of an actual image, then I may play with another one. But more than likely, I'm going to be using the, the plain font. So let's try, let's look at our options. There's that royal blue. So you see how that is. Um, and it gives you options to change the layout and how it's um, layered. Okay? And you can change that color. Um, but say you want this uh, brand in the middle to be gold or whatever, you would have to go and layer it like I did photo grid, but you have to save it as you go. So, and I'm going to try that while I'm on here. And there may be another way, but this is the way that I know how to do it. And the problem with that is when you do it, if the layout is not right, then you're kind of stuck. But I'm sure there's another way to do it. But I'm going to show you how I reflag, and then it'll add another layer. And this app has, you know, different textures in it, not just colors. So it's got some gold in here and everything. If you know me well, you know I live for the gold. Wish there was a thicker one. Let's see what this one does. Yeah, I like that. I didn't add it. There it is. My phone's getting so slow. And then we're going to do the end of our message. Like this. Just like this. So visually attractive on the end. And then we're going to put our color on here. We We're going to put our color on here. Why? So let's choose. Um, that's kind of close, but I don't want to do that. Let's just go back to our blue. Why? And um, and that's it. So okay. I hope I was able to answer some of your questions. Um. If you have any more questions, be sure to send me a message. But that's pretty much how you get um, your wording onto your social media templates and a couple of ways to style it and different ways to style it. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, and let me know what you think. Um, shoot me a message and let me know if it was helpful or not. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for tuning in.